All right, so we have our characters in place now, and um, let's go ahead and play it so I can just show you something about the town, right? Because each of the uh, doors uh, have a script attached to it, have a piece of code attached to it um, that open and close them when the character is near them, right? So, for instance, I go here into the sheriff's, and if I click on it enough I can like push the door open it's not the best script right but it does go inside and then I want to get out of here okay I guess I can't get out it truly is a jail oh there we go uh, there we go so um, but it's not the best script right uh, for opening and closing and not only that but some of these places I don't want the player to interact with right like I, for instance I don't want there to be two stores and also the sheriff isn't going to be a part of this uh, story so I'm gonna I want to not have the character be allowed to go in there okay so how can I set that up well what you're gonna do is the places that you can go into what I did is I removed the doors Okay, so just so it's easier to get in and get out. And so, for instance, here the um, the bar or the saloon is a place I want them to interact with, right, because of the bartender. So I can come here into workspace, town, go to saloon, and then I can go into door frame. No, yeah, right here, door frame, right, and make sure that this is highlighted. And then I can hit the arrow next to it, and I can get oh that's not right actually that's not it so what I want to do is I want to remove the doors okay so let's see if I can find it there we go saloon door left side right side right so I found them and so what I can do is right click it and say delete or I can highlight it and then I could press the delete key on my keyboard and it goes away and so now it's easier to get into the saloon right and so I want you to do the same thing here with the store and uh, not with the hotel or the sheriff's or this store, but also with the bank. Okay, the stable's already uh, open, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, so go ahead and do that. And uh, another thing is the places that you don't want him to go in. Uh, I'm I want to shut the doors forever, right? And so the way I can do that is go into that building, right, like I am here, um, and find that door. Okay, so here's the door, but this here is a model. It's like a folder for all the pieces of the door, right? All the different parts of the door. So what I want to do is I want to anchor the door. I want to come here to model, and I want to say anchor, okay? But um, I'm not sure if you can anchor a model. Let me try that, actually. So I, like, anchored the entire model of the door, and then I want to test it and see if it, if it opens up or not. And if it does, then that's great. Right, but uh, what I did earlier was I found a piece of the door and I anchored a piece of the door which uh, allowed the door, I mean forced the door to not open up. Okay, So let's see if this thing opens up. Whoa, let's not climb up in there. Yeah, so I think that actually works, right? So you can go ahead and anchor the model if you want or alternatively you can find a piece of the door like a panel and you can anchor that and then that will cause the door to not function correctly. Okay, so I guess the next challenge exercise here is to uh, take away the doors of the places that you want the character to go into, uh, namely uh, the store, the saloon, and the bank. Yeah, and the bank. Right? And then go back and sh uh, anchor all of the doors where you don't want them to go into, like the sheriff's building, the hotel, the post office, and the other store.